Hi, I'm Rich, WB5YBZ, and I have an older MFJ magnetic loop. I changed the motor, and let's go on over to the loop and let me show you what I did, and then let's go and see what we are having on the air, see if we can communicate, see what kind of results we get. So let's move on, mosey on over there. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, this is the old motor, and what I had to do is unscrew this thing to uh, from the shaft of the, I believe the capacitor I think this what sort of went into the capacitor or something on the motor take the two screws off one here and one here and of course wires were going from here to one switch and wires is going to here to the other switch and what I did is I marked both of these one here with a black marker and one here because if I pull this out you know sometimes you wiggle and stuff and all of a sudden the wire's broken you think well did it go here did it go up here or whatever so I just mark it with a magic marker now something that I thought I thought well I'll just unsolder that well <laughs> something I learned is you first unsolder it from the switch here heat it up and you have one of those uh, solder suckers so you can just pop it on there and suck all the solder off then you go through here and then on this one you heat it up and then you're able to pull the wire out and the same thing goes over here I don't know if you can there's another switch on this side I'm gonna flip this over because I was trying to explain something oh I don't know if I told you this but when I, when I was trying to pull this out, this little area right here, you see this little diameter, I think it was sort of squashed in there or pressed in there. And I had to take a screwdriver and just pop it out and it came out real easy. I'm gonna turn this thing over. There we go. There, that's great. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this, there's a little set screw in there. Let me see if I can zoom into it. See that little set screw? Ah, now it's getting blurred. Well, the hole in there wouldn't allow this, I don't know, what would you call this? The things that, that's screwed onto the shaft. And notice the shaft is flat on one side. Make sure you put the Allen screw in there. But the hole was too small for this, this fitting to go in there. So what I did, is I got a stepping, a step drill, I think from Harbor Freight or something like that. And I just drilled on one side, and then I went on, the, drilled on the other side. Of course, I had to take these nuts off. Another thing, if you're tilting the antenna like you have it like this, these little spacers will just slide right on off. And so you got to be careful not to let those slide off. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. Just make sure you put them back on. So anyway, took all these nuts off and I, I, I drilled on this side and that side. So this little attachment to the shaft can uh, turn freely in there. So you can make it any size. You can make it a lot bigger or whatever. I just barely cleared mine. I wish I'd really drilled a little larger. Another thing is, I don't know if you can see this down here where my finger is. This is, goes to where the old hole was and you put a screw on this side of it and it goes into the, this, this bracket here that it sort of stands off. Well, when I first got the motor, it just had this plate on there. I said, well, how do I mount it on there? He said, well, didn't you have any standoff things? I said, no. So they sent me out a couple, one on that side and one on this side over here. And so, I, again, I drilled a hole here in this plastic. And I mounted this here on this flat. I screwed it on this flat thing. Tighten this down. And then, of course, I had this little loose, this plastic loose. I had the nuts loose. And I put on this sh shaft right here. And in the shaft of the capacitor, there's sort of a small hole for the set screw, screw to go in there. And what I had to do is move the capacitor left and right. And I was putting pressure on the 
the little screw a little bit until I could feel it slip into the little hole that's on this it looks like a screw but it's a little shaft and went inside and tighten it down and that's basically what it is I had to put longer wires on this since it sets, sort of sets off about what is that about a half inch or something like that and so I had to drill this out just a little bit bigger for the wire I had soldered it to the switch over here underneath here and then soldered it here once I got through here they give you a capacitor solder one side here one side there and then this goes to the other side basically a mirror like thing to the other switch and that's really all it is to it main thing I had problem was I had to go out and get a stepper drill to be able to make sure this thing could go through the plastic and that it was it really wasn't that hard let's go ahead and go on to the radio and see what how how we did with this thing where, where we talked to okay what I have done is mounted the antenna about three feet off the ground for the bottom part of it and about six feet above the ground so that's what we have here yes you Thank you very much. You'll find I 59 here in Barcelona, Spain. WB5. YBZ. Is Richard in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma? Uh, WB2MHKJ, WB5YBZ. Got my SWR down. I'm using an old ML, MFJ uh, uh, magnetic loop that's about three feet to the bottom of the ground, about six feet to the top of the ground. You're 5'9 into Oklahoma City, Paul. And uh, you got the Richard right. Just call me Rich, uh, please, and uh, wonder what the signal report is. Over. Yeah, you're running about a 5x6. Five by six. A 5x6, five by six, Rich. Whiskey Bravo 5, Yankee Bravo Zulu. Uh, Rich, you're 5'9 here into New York. Okay, you're actually 5'9. What what signal report am I actually over? Uh, okay, you're, you're actually a 5 and 8. I give you a 5 and 8, but we're giving everybody a 5 and 9 today. But you, you got a strong signal here into New York. Okay, thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. 73s to you. Okay, 73. This is Whiskey Alpha 2 NYC. Well, as you can see, it was a lot of fun. I actually talked to, I think it was, what's it, S51DX in Sl Slovenia? Slovenia? I can't say that right. But he gave me a 5.9. He was actually 5, I gave him a 5.7. But, you know, the DX stations, they say 5.7. And, unfortunately, I thought I hit the record button. And that's when my antenna was uh, mounted vertically and sort of pointed to the north. And uh, anyway, he gave me a 5.9. I was thrilled. I thought, oh boy, I'm going to put this on my video. And when you know it, I <laughs> it didn't work. But as you can see, the magnetic loop, even close to the ground as I had it, is working just wonderful. And the motor, it seems like it's working really good. And uh, it was really easy to replace that. But that magnetic loop, it also would probably be great for HOAs where you don't can't have any antenna of any kind. And, that the top of it would just be the fence line to our uh, stockade fence so nobody could even see it. I'm still talking all over the world. And I was listening to Spain, that Spain station, where was that? I forgot, Bossa Nova or something. Bossa Nova, that wasn't it. <laughs> but I could hear him. I called him a couple times. He never did come back, but uh, he was talking to some sevens. But you have to realize most of the people, well, not most people, a lot of the people are running beams and they're also running high power. I'm only running 100 watts with this and being three feet off the ground uh, for the bottom of it and six feet off the ground at the top of it, I think it's doing pretty good. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I helped you out a lot. 73.